What's right. happening? What's happening? What's happening? This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woo, Chris Monroe, and I'm right back at you with another Turo video. This vehicle here just got it back. You know, I just bought this truck about not even a month ago, and it's already been in an incident on Turo. I'm gonna break it all down for you in just a moment. Smash the like button right now though. Smash the like. So there you have it. The uh, nice green machine Jeep Compass. Like I said, I only had it for a few weeks. It's already been in an incident. So this renter that had it, she actually rented it. Uh, we did a contactless touchless check-in, so I didn't meet the people. So they uploaded their picture driver's license or they uploaded their driver's license and they uploaded their selfie of them holding a driver's license however it was a lady that was about 71 years old so that was already kind of a red flag right there um born in 1950 so i'm like well what is she doing out here riding and stuff so we'll see so i just say go ahead whatever and look at that at the bumper there this is how i got it back after supposed to be returned yesterday at 12 noon just got it back pretty much today a day after 24 hours after so they're gonna have some upcharges, but that's some of the damage right there. Um, I don't know if they hit something or ran over something or what happened, but as you can tell, there's uh, all the little things have popped out of there for some reason. You know what, I should have popped the hood, the uh, trunk right quick and see what's under there, because I don't know, there might be something going on under there, but as you can see, they definitely hit something. I don't see any damage to the tires. But there's definitely damage to the other parts of it. The other damage that I see here is this windshield. I mean, look at that, that crack is going all the way to the base. From here, all the way up to with the impact, all the way up some more to there. So yeah, it's got some damage for sure. If you can see that, I know it's kind of hard to reflect out here, but yeah, so they hit something there and they ran over something here, but I think I am gonna go ahead and uh, pop this hood up and see. But other than that, other than a dirty vehicle, not bringing it back filled up and bringing it back late, I don't see much wrong. I mean, they, you know, they left it kind of trashy. I mean, I took some of the stuff out already, but they definitely did not think about cleaning the vehicle. But they left me a gift. How nice of them. Look what they left me. Some Island Bliss Shea Sugar Scrub. So that's what they left me in the back of the vehicle here. But that's basically what it is. So. Basically, my next steps are gonna be to document the condition of the vehicle, take pictures of everything, um, meaning the fuel gauge, meaning the um, damage areas, meaning anything that I need to charge them for, which we know we're gonna have to get that fixed. We can't send it back out like that. Like I said, I only had this vehicle less than 30 days and it's already been in an accident on somebody not knowing how to drive. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood and uh, see what's under here. Hopefully there's nothing under there that I can't see from out here. All right, so we got the hood popped. Uh, it doesn't appear to be anything going on down here that I can tell. I mean, but you really never know with these people. It don't look like any damage on the inside that I can see. You can see through the crack right there, you can see all the way to the ground. You see straight through there in the middle, and you see straight through the ground, so you see something's not right. But how it got like that, I'm not sure yet. In fact, should I look under the vehicle? In fact, I don't even want to keep doing all this inspection. I'm going to leave that to the professionals, let them gauge the damage of this. So what do you think about this? Should, do you think I should throw the book at her? Or should I be nice and say, oh, well, you know, things happen. But they kept my vehicle past the time. They lied to me once. They said, yeah, I'll be there, uh, I'll be there uh, at 12 o'clock. She said they're gonna be there at three. We're, gonna, we're running a little late, which is already a red flag. And they disabled my tracking device. I forgot about that. They took my tracker out of my thing. They unplugged it. So I'm gonna have to either do something different with that as well. So that's the tracker right there. They unplugged it. I just plugged it back in, that big black box right there. I'm gonna actually change it and put it underneath. And I'm getting an actual hardwired one put in here as well. I'm gonna put a hardwired tracker in here as well. So this hardwired tracker is actually going to be able to uh, track the vehicle one, disable the starter two, uh, i.e. what they call a kill switch. It's gonna actually deactivate the starter 
and I'm gonna be able to lock and unlock my vehicle remotely. So that's gonna help tremendously. And uh, we won't have this problem next time somebody don't want to bring the vehicle back on time one i can just go get my vehicle and two i will know exactly where it says so she disabled the tracker and they were gone past the time so should i throw the book at her or should i be nice throw the book or be nice they only drove about a thousand miles i don't know where they went because they turned it off somewhere in mid illinois but uh this is what we have right here family so if you're gonna get into this business you better be ready for whatever come at you don't come in here thinking that oh it's my baby so if i love this car and it got this damage on it, I would be heartbroken right now. So don't make yourself be heartbroken. Don't be attached to these vehicles. I'm gonna get it fixed and it'll be back on the road in a couple of days. So well, I'll let you know how this turns out. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to follow me on all social media outlets at Chris Monroe STL, especially on Instagram, because I put stuff in my stories that doesn't come out up on uh, you know full video. So this is just a video I want to put together for you so you can see some of the experience I've been going through. Uh, we have more cars on the vi on the uh, platform called Turo right now. And uh, we're gonna be adding some more anyway, regardless, because it makes a lot of money. So she rented this at a day rate of $170 a day. 170 a day, ain't that nice? But I'm on a 60-40 plan, so I only get 60% of that. However, we're gonna deal with this repair right now. And hopefully you all have a great rest of your day. Do what you do, be who you be, and I'll see you before you see me. Damage. Find more leads than you can even process. That's multiple listing service. That's the MLS for your real estate agents. Absentee owner information. Find the cash buyers and flippers in any market nationwide. Pull a pre-foreclosure list. And don't forget, you got to find those comps. Get nationwide access with multiple filters powered by PropStream at WokeSource.com. Get your seven-day free trial today. WokeSource.com. That's WokeSource.com. Get your free real estate joint venture agreement and get notified of upcoming shows, text JV to 636-330-1444. Today's broadcast is being brought to you by WokeSkipTracing.com. Look up phone numbers and email addresses with ease, with pricing as low as only 15 cents per match, not per search, per match. If there's no number or email address, you don't pay. Get accurate data in just minutes. WokeSkipTracing.com. That's WokeSkipTracing.com. You may have heard the saying, the fortunes are in the follow-up. Now there's a brand new system that is great to help you code call, text message, drop voicemails, and so much more all automated. You don't have to remember anything. Just set it and forget it. All you have to do is speak to people. Check it out. WokeReply.com. It's a multi-touch marketing campaign where you can schedule to send text, voicemail, email, and even live calls all on autopilot. Check it out today. WokeReply.com. That's WokeReply.com.